Hey guys, Jeff here with Martin Survival. So today I'm going to show you how to set up a ridge line. Now, ridge line can be very beneficial in a survival situation or for those of you who like to go camping. I can do many things with a ridge line, but there's also a lot of ways to set this up. Each person has a different way of doing things out in the woods. Let me show you how I set up my ridge line and it works best for me. Okay, so right behind me we have two Joshua trees that sit about eight to nine feet apart. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. It's on a nice flat area, so if I do need to set up a shelter, this is where I'm gonna do it at. It's also facing south. So here in the winter time, perfect. If I'm in a survival situation, or if I'm in any emergency whatsoever, and I have a shelter here, say a lean-to, I'm towards the south where I'm going to get that southern exposure and a lot of that heat in the early morning. Now there's also a few things you're going to need to create a ridge line. Of course cordage. This is number 36 tarred bank line. You guys know I love this stuff. <laughs> it works great. If you're in an emergency situation and you don't have cordage, you can make it with yucca or even a Joshua tree leaf. Either one will work. It's in the same family. You're also going to need a cutting tool. In this case, I just have my knife here, EDC4. If I don't have that, I can use a sewn tool. Now let me show you how to set this up. So the first thing I want to do is I want to find one end of the cordage and I just want to make a loop here. So here I have my loop, as you can see. Now I want to go around this tree, so I want to take the loop and I just want to feed the string in the loop and just pull tight. So there we have one end. Now I'm going to go to the second tree and show you how to tie that end. All right, so we're at our second tree, and I'm gonna tie this around. Now I wanna make sure this is pretty straight, so it looks like we need to go a little bit lower. And that looks about good. So now what I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna wrap this around. And I'm gonna keep this tight. So that's about good. We have it wrapped around twice. That gives me a little extra cordage if I need it. Now from here, I'm just going to feed my line through and I'm just going to make another knot, just an overhand knot and pull it tight. And that's all that's to it. As you can see here, I have my ridge line effectively set up. I have all my knots nice and tight so it's not going to loosen up on me. Now this is a very quick and easy way to do things out in the wilderness for setting up a ridge line. So what can I do with a ridge line? Well, I can use this for cooking food over boiling water. I can use this as a clothes hanger if I have my clothes wet in an emergency situation. Or I can use this for setting up a shelter. As far as a shelter, Depending on the shelter, if I use the lean-to, I would want to slide this down a little bit lower and create my lean-to, of course, due south, and also to where I can block that wind from entering into the shelter. If I'm creating a ridge line to hang clothes on, I would want to hang this a little bit higher because this has a little bit of bow to it when you hang clothes up and you don't want your clothes to catch on fire. So I can just slide this thing up or down depending on what I'm using it for. Well, I'm Jeff with Martin Survival. I appreciate you joining me with this video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.